should we do first, Clem? <gasps> Skee-ball! It's my favorite! Yeah! Can we, Daddy? Sure, Caillou. Let's go! <laughs> breath. <sighs> All right, Caillou! Well done, Caillou! <laughs> Don't spend them all at once. Race you to the bumper cars, Caillou. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, kids, that was great. You must be getting hungry. Well, what would you like? Hmm. Let's see what we can get with this. <gasps> Air hockey! Yes! <laughs> that is one cold milkshake, huh, Caillou? <gasps> Mini golf! Let's go! Almost there, Clem. One more tap should do it. That's it, Caillou. You can do this. <laughs> wow, Caillou! A hole in one! We did it, Clem! Yeah! Come on, let's go get our prizes. I almost forgot! Wow, Caillou. Did you have a good day? The best! It was school sports day, and Caillou was excited to get started. <laughs> All his family had come out to watch him compete. All right, kids, the race is about to start. 
Line up at your marks. On your marks, get set. Go! Caillou shot out from the crowd. He was ahead of the rest. Caillou tried and tried to keep his eggs steady, but he couldn't do it. Caillou! You can do it! Just keep going! Take it easy, slow, and steady. Just when he thought it was all over, Caillou decided he wasn't going to give up. Go, Caillou! Go, Caillou! <laughs> Caillou reached the finish line, and he was so proud of himself. As his friends lifted him into the air, Caillou felt so happy. He realized that it was the taking part that counted. I did it! <laughs> you did so well in the race, Caillou. Not as well as you, Clem. You were so fast, I couldn't catch you! Thanks, Caillou. But you're a winner, too. You completed the race. Even though it was hard, you carried on. Wow! Thanks! That was a lot of fun. Congratulations, Caillou! <laughs> Mommy, Daddy, look what I got! Very good, Caillou. We knew you could do it. All right, what's next? Looks like Rosie's proud of her big brother. <laughs> it was World Book Day. All the kids were so excited to dress up as their favorite characters. But no one was as excited as Caillou, who came dressed as a pirate. All right now, class, gather round. Settle down, settle down. Now, as you know from your wonderful costumes, today is World Book Day. <gasps> but it's not just about dressing up in costume. It's about getting your imaginations going through reading. <gasps> so here are some vouchers. You can spend them on whatever book you <gasps> like at the store after school. Caillou and his friends couldn't wait to spend their vouchers. They thought long and hard about what book they wanted to buy. Caillou and his friends were exchanging vouchers. There were so many different colors and pictures. Oh, cool! Yours has a dinosaur on it! Look at Clementine's! It has a wolf on it!
With their imaginations truly fired up, Caillou and his friends couldn't wait to get reading. Caillou was excited to take his book home and have all the adventures of a pirate. It was a special day in Caillou's family. It was Rosie's birthday, and all the family were outside enjoying the sunshine and having a party. Mommy, Mommy, please can I go play in the bounce house now? Okay, Caillou, but be careful. And don't forget to remove your shoes. But I don't want to take my shoes off. Better do as we're told, Caillou. Caillou had a great time in the bounce house. But the other kids started to get too rough. Hey! Hey! Stop that! Safely back on solid ground, Caillou looked around for another game to play. Hey, Caillou! Are you all right? Caillou put on a brave face. After all, there were other activities he could do. <laughs> hey! Let's go play pin the tail on the donkey! <laughs> Caillou and his friends began to play pin the tail on the donkey. They got very dizzy. <laughs> You try, Caillou. <gasps> oh no, that's not where tails go either. Hey, look, they're bringing out the cake. All right now, kids, gather round. Rosie, don't forget to make a wish. Rosie made her special birthday wish and blew out her candles all at once. And then... <laughs> How about some presents? Oh, me first, me first. 
Can I, Mommy? Okay, Caillou. What have you got? Oh. Here you go, Rosie. Happy birthday! Oh. Rosie couldn't believe her luck. Her very own <gasps> teddy bear. Good job, Caillou. What a great gift. One more thing, Rosie. Dear Rosie, happy birthday. Have the best day. Love from your brother, Caillou. Oh, Caillou, that's lovely and so well written. Isn't that nice, Rosie? Hey, kids, it's time for the piñata. <laughs> Rosie gets first hit. Go, Rosie! <laughs> it was the best birthday Rosie ever had. And Caillou had a pretty good day, too. <laughs> Are you excited to come to work with me today, Caillou? Yeah, look at what Mommy made me. Wow, what a great tie. numbers, Daddy? Well, Caillou, if you press a number, the elevator takes you to that floor. Why don't you give it a try? We're going to level four. Cool. Good morning, Boris. Oh, and this must be Caillou. Your daddy says a lot of nice things about you. Good morning. Caillou, this is Valerie. She runs the whole office. Wow. Very nice to meet you, <laughs> Miss Valerie. So, this is where Daddy sits every day. <gasps> what do you do, Daddy? <laughs> well, Daddy does lots of things, Caillou. Right now, Valerie needs us to make some copies for a presentation. Copies? But Mrs. Martin says you shouldn't copy other people's work. Oh, Caillou, we need to make some copies so that everyone can read it. It's kind of like a show-and-tell. Oh, cool! <gasps> How does it work, Daddy? Well, you take whatever it is that you want to copy and put it up here. Then, you press the number for how many copies you want to make. And they pop right out into that tray. Wow! So it can copy anything? <laughs> well, not <gasps> quite anything. <gasps> oh, uh, careful, Caillou! Valerie needs me. I'll be right back. Why don't you finish putting those copies together?
finished. Oh, excuse me, sir. Have you seen my son? He's about your height with a yellow shirt it's and... It's me, Daddy. Now I'm a business person just like you. Oh, Caillou, you don't need glasses or a mustache for that. <gasps> but it does suit you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's time for Valerie's big meeting. So we've had a special helper around the office today. Caillou has been helping Boris prepare for today's meeting. And he really has been lending a hand. <laughs> So cool, Daddy. When I grow up, I want to work in an office just like you. <laughs> and you'll be the best office worker there is. Watch me, Grandma. Done, Caillou. What's the matter, Caillou? That boy on the skateboard reminded me of when I had an accident, Grandma. Do you want to tell me about it? It might make you feel better. It was when I had a skateboard from Leo for my birthday. I couldn't wait to try it out, but Mommy said I had to wait until we got the special knee and wrist pads. Did you need a helmet too, Caillou? Yes, but I already had my bike helmet. I was too excited to wait, so I put my bike helmet on and went into the garden. I took the skateboard to the top of the path and tried to go a bit faster. The wheel hit a stone and the skateboard threw me off. I put my hand out and... I bumped my wrist on the ground. What did you do? I was crying and holding my arm and I went to find Mommy. <laughs> oh, Caillou, what's the matter? Did you hurt your wrist? <laughs> I fell off my skateboard! <laughs> Caillou, I told you to wait. I'm sorry. It's okay. Let's go and get you fixed up. Mommy had to take me to the doctor who told me that I had sprained my wrist. That's not broken, but it still really hurt, Grandma. I know it hurts, Caillou. I sprained my wrist once, too. Were you on a skateboard, too, Grandma? <laughs> no, Caillou. I slipped on some ice. Did you have a sling, like me? Yes, Caillou. I had to keep my arm resting in a sling for a few weeks until it was better. Thanks, Grandma. I feel better now. Have you used your skateboard again, Caillou? No, Grandma. I'm too scared about falling off. But if you wear all your safety gear, you can practice and you won't hurt yourself if you fall. <gasps> Oh, that looks so much fun. I wish I was your age, Caillou. I definitely want to learn to skateboard. Gosh, my arms are tired. I must have pushed Rosie on that swing 100 times. 
Why don't we all have a banana and then we'll have some more energy? So, Caillou, what were you telling Grandma about? About when I fell off my skateboard and hurt my wrist. It's made Caillou scared of skateboarding again. But it does look so much fun. Yes, it does. When I was a young boy, I had a pair of roller skates. I fell over a lot, but I kept practicing until I could skate without falling over. It was my favorite thing to do. Maybe you should give it another go, Caillou. Yes, I think I will. But I'm going to wear all the special pads this time. When Caillou got home, he dressed in his helmet, knee pads, and wrist guards. Go, Caillou! Oh, Caillou, are you okay? I'm fine, Mommy. My guards worked! Try again, Caillou. You almost had it. understands you're playing a game. But he's the dragon, Mommy. He wants to eat Teddy and all our spaghetti. I've got an idea. Why don't you ask Rexy if he'd like to join in and play the part of the dragon? That's a great idea, Mommy. There. Rexy is much more like a dragon. <gasps> oh no! This dragon's even bigger! Teddy, he won't! 
it! Sir Teddy and our spaghetti are safe! I thought you brave knights deserved a treat. Thanks, Mommy! Another dragon! <laughs> this is Gilbert, and he's a very friendly cat. Aren't you, Gilbert? And see, he likes eating ice cream, not Teddy's. <laughs> <laughs> Today, Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou and Rosie to enjoy a fun-filled day at the water park. Caillou was being a good older brother and was teaching Rosie how to swim. Okay, Rosie. All you have to do is kick your legs really fast, like this. Now you try. Great job, Rosie. Caillou, you're a very good teacher. Look, those children are fighting a pirate ship. Looks like they could use your help, Caillou. Captain Caillou to the rescue! Hold on, Caillou. You need to put some sunscreen on first. But I want to go and battle the pirates. You won't be able to fight the pirates if you get a sunburn. Okay, Mommy. But hurry! We can't let the pirates take over the water park. Ah, it's cold. Hold still, Caillou. Perfect. <laughs> what? <laughs> Meow! Mommy, I can't fight the pirates looking like this. They'll laugh at me. Oh, okay, Captain Caillou, come here. There, now you're ready to go and save the day. Come on, Rosie, let's go sink the pirate ship. Ready, aim, fire! Yar, Meiji! Watch out, Caillou. The pirates are fighting back. Don't worry. I'll get him. Our man overboard! Oh, we, we did, did it! it. Yay! Yay! We did it, Rosie. We stopped the pirates from taking over the water park. Yar! <laughs> After all that excitement, I bet you two could do with a rest. How about we take a ride down the lazy river? That sounds like fun. This is very relaxing. It's a bit slow. Can it go any faster? Why don't we have a race to that palm tree, Caillou? Okay. Here I come, Caillou! Whoa! Whoa! I did it! I won! Well done, Caillou! Why is the line moving so slowly? Be patient, Caillou. This is the biggest slide at the water park. It'll be worth the wait. <gasps> the biggest? Go on the second biggest slide. Don't worry, Caillou. There are two slides next to each other, so we can go down together. Oh, okay. Are you ready, Mommy? I'm a little scared. Could you hold my hand? Of course, Mommy. I'll protect you. Okay. Three... Two, one, go! <laughs> See, Caillou, that wasn't so bad, was it? Thanks for holding my hand, Caillou. You're very brave. That was splash-tastic! <laughs> Today, 
Caillou was visiting the petting zoo with Mommy, Daddy, and Rosie. It's okay, Rosie. They're just sheep. Sheep are soft and friendly. You see? <laughs> Thank you. Hey, get out of here, you. Buzz off, go and get your own ice cream. Ow! <laughs> What's the matter, Caillou? Oh, you dropped your ice cream. It's okay, we can get you another one. It's not my ice cream, it's my nose. A greedy bee stung me. Oh dear, poor Caillou. Here, this will make you feel better. Why, why did it sting me, Mommy? Well, it probably thought you were trying to hurt it, Caillou. Uh, I did try and hit it, but it was trying to eat my ice cream. Caillou, you shouldn't try and hit bees. They're very special little creatures. Come on, let's follow him and see where he goes. Is that his house? That's right, Caillou. A bee's house is called a hive. That's a big house for just one little bee. Actually, thousands of bees live in there. Listen carefully and you can hear them. It sounds like an airplane. What are those ones doing? They're collecting nectar, which they use to make honey. Bees love sweet things. Like ice cream? Exactly. That bee didn't want to hurt you. It just wanted to share some of your ice cream. Bees should learn to say please. <laughs> Come on. I know something fun we can do to cheer you up. Look! A horsey! Almost, Caillou. That's a donkey. Ride the donkey? Sure you can! Whoa! This is high up! <laughs> Here! These will keep you safe! Hold on to your sister, Caillou. We don't want either of you falling off. to carry both of us. That's right. Donkeys may be small, but they are very strong. Like me. It was the end of a busy day, and Caillou wanted a bedtime story. <gasps> Daddy, would you read to me? All right, Caillou. Scooch over. This is the story of a time-traveling global adventurer. In the plains of Africa, wild animals roam. You never know what you'll find. Whoa. Did you feel that, Caillou? Oh, no! Hop in, Caillou! That was a close one, Caillou. <laughs> In the great ice sheets of the Arctic, extraordinary sights are never far away. Come on, Caillou. 
Let's see what else we can find. Looks like you've made friends there, Caillou. <laughs> and in the great pyramids of ancient Egypt, you never know what friends you could make. <laughs> wow, Caillou, you look just like a real ancient pharaoh. So do you. And on the other side of the Mediterranean Sea, Paris, a city of history, food, and art. Mm. Bonjour, Caillou. Very good. Mm. What do you say we go and see the real thing? Sure, Caillou. Let's go. <sighs> Quite a view, huh, Caillou? <sighs> That's enough excitement for one night. Time for bed. <laughs> 